what I was about to ask y'all is are y'all one of them people are y'all those type of people I don't know how to are you one of those people I don't know how to say y'all y'all know I'm talking to y'all that's how you know I'm from the but are y'all one of those people are y'all the type of people that's that's how you say it are y'all the type of people that you go out of town and you don't care where you eat like you'll eat something that you got back home like you'll go out of town and get some fucking Cracker Barrel or McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or something? Or are you one of those people when you go out of town, you don't eat nothing that you got at home? That's how I am. When I go out of town, I don't want to eat nothing that I got at home. I don't, I know. Why are we eating motherfucking? No. I don't want to eat nothing I could get back home. I would have stayed my ass at home. When I go on vacation, I want to try all the new shit. I want to try all the restaurants that we ain't got, that I ain't never seen before, that I ain't never had. That's what I want to do when I go out of town. Like, uh, he was just standing by, like he came out of the gas station. He was just standing by the front of his car. And I got out to take the pump out my tank. And he was still just standing there acting like he was on his phone. And then I turned around and got like straight in the car, like real fast. And then, like, he looked at me, and then he just turned to get in the car, like, Sir, please don't try to talk to me. Please. <laughs> it's dangerous going to the gas station. God damn. Please don't talk to me. Please don't see me. That's what we're going through, my Please don't see me. Please don't talk to me. <laughs> All right, lovely ladies. Once you lie down, it's kind of like a leg press. We have three different um, ranges that we're going to go through. So, your feet are going to be to the corners of that foot bar. Foot bar, jump <laughs> Toes are pointed out, so externally rotated. Oh, oh it rolls under there. <laughs> it definitely likes to hide sometimes. Good. All right, so your feet are gonna be physically moving from that jump board. So you are going to put your hands on your hips, exhale, and you're gonna jump all the way out. Yes, your feet are leaving it. Keep the feet pointed, the toes pointed. And legs are fully extended. Yes, there we go. Try to land toe ball heel and toward the top of the jump board. Because again, that is going to create less pressure on those knees. Like you won't have 
have time to fully accept. There you go. You bring them up. Yeah. There you go. Fully done. I'm going to be really done. There you go. You got it. Relax. Amen. I want you guys to mutter from the hips. So a lot of times people mutter with the knee. That's right, because I know that's it feels like weird. But I want you to keep the legs straight and flutter like that. So you're working your hip flexors. There you go, there you go. And you feel that from the ass, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. We're done with jumping. Let's put these boards back underneath the own care there for me. We're going to put the legs in some foot loops now. So we're just taking these out, putting them back underneath the carriage. We're going to keep it at the two beds. And I am going to have you guys. Yeah, but toes, toes apart. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, and then fully extend. Yep, and then bring it back in. There you go. And you're gonna start filling those in between the thighs. Yes, I got to fill it there. You fill it there. Good. Just give me two more. And one more. Now you're gonna keep the legs extended here. Heels together, toes apart. Bring those legs out. Then exhale, bring the heels back together. Inhale out, exhale and close. We're working those abductor and abductor muscles now. Good. And you are gonna feel that in the back as well. This is the one that got me when I first started Pilates. I thought I was strong here, I was not. Good. Just give me two more. And bring the legs down for them because you're going to feel that resistance more that way. Okay. Uh, bring it down. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then bring it together. Do you feel that? Yeah. All right. Bring those knees in toward the chest for me. Just get some relief. Take a deep breath. Get a little back stretch. You can put the arms around the back of the thighs if you want. That'll give you a nice pull. All right, last but not least that we're gonna do right here. Feet together in parallel, just give me big circles. That's gonna just open up the hips, give you some nice range of motion. Exhale to press down, inhale, bring it around. Again, it is important to do the breathing, ladies, very important. Feet together, exhale, press down. Inhale, bring it around. Then let's change direction. Change direction. You got it. And give me three. Two. And one more. All right, ladies. I want you to take that left foot loop off. The left foot loop off first. Once you take that one off, I want you to extend that leg toward your foot bar. Yes, and then once you extend it, yep, then you can take the other one off. So make sure that foot's really tight to it. Yep, it gives you that. There you go. Yes, you drop those now, and we're going to stand up for our flexibility series. So we're going to one red and one blue spring. How do the hips feel? I felt that it felt like that machine that's that exactly. That's exactly what it's from the mix. Yep. <laughs> How about you guys? Good. Good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, one red and one blue. And then that small for the um, lumbar support underneath the carriage. Not the big one, but the small one. You're gonna grab that. You're gonna take these shoulder ropes out and put this right here. Good. And bring it all the way in. 
Perfect. Now we're going to go to the other side. The other side. Add that blue spring back for me. All right. Same thing. Let's put this foot under that foot bar. And we're going to press away. Bring it halfway in. I just got out of my Pilates class. I would have like recorded or whatever um, before I got there or while I was on my way there, but um, it was pouring down raining. And so I was kind of rushing because I didn't want to be late. I got here like five minutes before class started or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm putting on some hand sanitizer because, yeah. But I'm sitting here. I'm still sitting outside of the Pilates class. Okay, first of all, so I just left Pilates. This was my first class. It was an introduction class, so it was free. Um, and it was great. I liked it. It was different. It was new. I could really feel the stretching, um, especially in, like, the groin area. 
the abs i felt it um between my shoulder blades and stuff i felt all of that and i absolutely loved it i loved it but i'm still um oh so then i have what is this so then they have um the introduction class is free i saw it on facebook or whatever and i signed up and then they have uh what am i trying to say let me just look at the paper so then they have private classes for forty dollars they have you can do five classes for 90 or you could do unlimited classes for 169 um a month um yeah with no enrollment fees or whatever so i do want to sign up i don't know if i want to do the five classes for 89 or do the unlimited for 169 i'm slip going to wait because i know we want to get into like um kickboxing and uh martial arts and stuff like that so that's why i didn't sign up for anything because if i do the unlimited I keep wanting to touch my face. Um, because if I do the unlimited for 169, we still gotta find a gym. And that's probably gonna be like 60 some dollars, the type of gym that we're trying to find. So I'm gonna wait and talk to him about it. But I definitely am gonna come back and do some more Pilates because I liked it, girl. And it was stretching me out. Like, okay, it says it helps with flexibility. Improve strength, core strength, posture, endurance, mind, body connection. Yes, I need all of that. I want all of that. So, yeah. But I'm still sitting out here because I want to talk to y'all real quick. And because when I pulled up, I saw that there was like a, a a Mexican restaurant right here. And your girl is hungry. What time is it? I'm like, let's see what time it is. It is 10.35. So, are they even open? Do I want Mexican this early? I definitely don't need to be eating no cheese. Fuck it. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. But I do. I'm like 30 minutes from the house. So I'm just trying to decide do I want to eat something right now. Or do I just want to go home and find something by the house? But I'm in a new area. All of this is new to me. Um, so why not try it? Let me see if they open. Okay, y'all. So this is actually a nice little area. I think this is called Concord, North Carolina. There's a food line across the parking lot, UPS store, Caribbean hut. But they don't look like they even in business. Mexican restaurant and then the Pilates place I went to it's right there the IMX Pilates you can't really see it but yeah so I think this is Concord North Carolina and the Mexican place don't open until 11 and it's 10 37 and I'm not about to wait honey I'll be home by then Yeah, I'm not about to wait. I'll be home by then. So anyways, I keep wanting to put on hand sanitizer. I need to go wash my hands because, girl. I could go get a smoothie, but I'm hungry. I want a too soon. Yeah. Should. What's today? Wednesday? Oh, I got time. But I do need to shut up. I do need to go um get a North Carolina driver's license. I need to go turn it my or not turn it in. I need to go get a a new driver's license. And I want to do it like this week while my hair is cute or whatever.
they said <clears throat> not that I said <coughs> I was gonna get my camera fixed today um, so that I can start first of all before I pull off I don't even know where I'm going so let me say this before I turn this off but I need to go get my camera fixed I found the camera repair place out here like let me just tell y'all the east coast is lit North Carolina's lit I love being over here <coughs> In my opinion, the East Coast way better than the West Coast. The food better over here. This is like Southern cooking, honey. Because um, when I was in California, they food went here on nothing. And then they try to like imitate like soul food and Southern cooking. The West Coast can't cook, baby. But, <coughs> <coughs> ooh, that water got me choking. But um, this East Coast, oh yeah, they're going to get down. I haven't had a place, well, take that back. I had one place that I didn't like and I will not be returning. Um, it's called like Kebab Grill or some shit. I didn't like that shit. Other than that, everywhere I've been, everywhere we've eaten, bah. But yeah, the East Coast, I love it over here. Yeah, I got so much stuff over here. Okay, anyways, what I was saying was, I found the camera repair store because I have a Canon Mark x2 but i haven't been using it that's why i haven't been vlogging and stuff for real or uploading for real because it's missing one of the screws on the root viewfinder so when i try to like flip it up and stuff it's loose and so i just haven't been using it because i don't want to break it even more <clears throat> and it's been like that for a while so i said i was gonna get that fixed today but I was rushing out the house and it was raining stuff so I didn't even bring a camera with me because this would be the perfect time to go get that fixed because I actually think it's out here where I'm at right now but yeah I don't have it with me so we're gonna get that fixed whenever I don't know if I'm gonna come back out today <clears throat> we'll just wait until tomorrow because I'm still unpacking still sorting and organizing the house or whatever but yeah okay that's all I wanted to say now I'm finna head home Okay, y'all, change of plans. I'm not going home. I'm just gonna drive around while I'm out here. What better way to learn a new city, new place, than to get lost around this mother? Okay, so that's what we finna do. We finna get lost. I got my car charger. My phone got some juice. I got my wallet. We good. I need some gas, though. We can't get lost with no gas. And then, after I explore, Ooh, there is a Taekwondo martial arts. Damn, dude, move. Get behind me, foe. There is a Taekwondo martial arts place, but that look like it's for like kids after school or whatever. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep looking for different gyms. Well, actually, I did find a gym that had like boxing and all that stuff but it just had like the equipment i don't know if they have like the trainers or whatever <clears throat> this is a bar and grill are they open it's still early it's still early they don't open till 11. <clears throat> they don't open until 11. there's a food line right here I don't feel like grocery shopping though. I'ma just be honest. I really don't. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't. But okay, I like Concord. <clears throat> now that I know, I'm glad that like I'm finding different events. Like we have another event. What is this? What they talking outside of? What building is that? Is that a ghost gym? I can't tell. Now I want to look back because then they're going to think I'm looking at them. Oh, it is a ghost gym. I recognize the uniform. Okay. Well, I could get some Dunkin' Donuts. But I'm hungry. Okay, anyways. I don't know what I was just saying, y'all. I feel like I'm all over the place. <clears throat> 
Oh yeah, <clears throat> I've been finding different events. So like June eighth, there's a um, festival in North, in Charlotte. Um, so I got us tickets for that. And then there's also gonna be the Taste of Charlotte that same weekend. <clears throat> so we'll probably pull up to that. Um, so yeah, I'm just finding different events and different things to do because it's letting me explore different um, areas around Charlotte and on this part, on this side of North Carolina because we do wanna find some land to build on and stuff like that and just get our real estate <clears throat> investments and stuff going. Speaking of, I do, I did, okay, I haven't even told y'all about that. Well, I told y'all that I was scheduling my real estate exam. So I scheduled my real estate exam and apparently I didn't do something right. Even though I paid my money and all that type of stuff, it didn't go through. So when I showed up to take my exam, she was like, um, you're not on the list. So I had to call them and reschedule, but they didn't have any available dates in Nashville. Well, they did, but I wasn't going to be in Nashville at that time. I knew we were going to be in North Carolina during the, on the dates that they had available. So I was like, she was like, um, you don't have to be in Tennessee to take the Tennessee exam. So she scheduled me to take my real estate exam in North Carolina. So I take my real estate exam next Tuesday in Charlotte. So I really need to be studying for that a little more. And then I have to sign up for, see that's, I'm glad I didn't sign up for this Pilates thing cause I gotta pay for my class. My. Good morning, what can I get for you? Um, Just can I get, um, can I get two blueberry donuts? Of course, what else can I get for you? That's all. All right, it'll be. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't pay for that Pilates class yet because I do have one more real estate class. I have to take a 30 hour course, um, a new affiliate course, but I'm gonna wait until I take my, after I take my exam and then take my affiliate course. And then after that, I just gotta apply for my Tennessee license. And then once I do that, then I'm a, apply for recipient reciprocity reciprocate reciprocity Re y'all know what i'm trying to say i'm gonna apply <clears throat> once i get licensed in tennessee and become active in tennessee then i can basically um do real estate in north carolina as well without having to take their exams and stuff like that hey yeah. Okay. Do you want to receipt? Uh, no, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so then I'll be able to transfer without having to take North Carolina education requirements or whatever. And then I'll be licensed in two states, do real estate in two states. And I ain't mad at it. So, yeah, I'm finna head home now. Even though it's almost 11, I could sleep. Go to the Mexican restaurant. I don't need to be eating no cheese that early. I really don't need to be eating no cheese at all. For real, for real. So, I'm gonna just take my ass home. I'm gonna just take my ass home. And I'm gonna enjoy these little donuts, honey. Uh, Oh, we said we're finna get lost, so we're not going home. These donuts cold. Y'all have these in the fridge. Don't do that. <laughs> it's cold. And um I really shouldn't even be eating no sugar. Yeah, so I'm excited to get with this, uh, get this real estate stuff on and popping. 
so that we could really look for some land because looking on Zillow and stuff as like a regular person. That dog look like he didn't know what to be in that car. Um, yeah, it's hard to find land. I can't really find shit on Zillow and stuff. So once we get licensed and stuff, then it's, I should be able to find some land a lot easier. So I'm gonna explore this area so I'll know if we wanna look for property over here or not. I ain't got nothing else to do but waste time. Roaches or nothing over here. Okay. It's a lot of space in North Carolina. It's so much space and land. I love it. I don't like being on top of on top of shit like. Nashville, they just building shit on top of shit. Like, everybody just piled up. I don't like that. There's a chick fila, but I don't eat chicken, so. I only think I could get us some tater tater fries. And that lemonade is too much sugar for me. I got my sugar for the day. I need some dandelion tea. Ooh, what's down here? I'm gonna go flush this sugar out of my system anyway. Uh, are all these okay? Okay! <sighs> Starbucks. Dollar Tree behind me. Y'all need to go to Dollar Tree? This part of oh, uh, this is like the most. Di <clears throat> I'm loud. This is like the most diverse area I've seen. Oh, uh, for real. Since I've been here, I mean outside of Charlotte, but that's a big ass city. Oh, another one, Sasarita. down here what's that what's pike y'all that yellow store oh bitch this a dead end i'm glad i was looking because i would have ran right into that thing and y'all won't gonna tell me nothing None down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I'm gonna take my time reversing, flipping, and dumping it because who's trying to hit a curve? They be like, you got space, you got space. No, nah, I need to see the space in my damn self. Don't tell me what I got. I'm just rambling. But we're exploring. So that's what this... That's what this vlog's gonna be. 
explore North Carolina with me. A Harris Teeters. They got a Chinese cuisine. They got a spa. My bad, Mr. 18 Willow. You trying to get right there? Excuse me. Cafe. We got that in Nashville though. Are y'all one of them people? Hold on, let me chew first. I love it. <clears throat> I love it here. Yes, North Carolina is amazing. There's so much land and space out here. So much to do. What was I about to say? Oh, yeah. What was I to say? Mm. Hold on, yeah. It's a lot of townhomes in this area, though. Definitely don't want no townhome. But when we move from where we are right now, because right now we on private property with a private landlord and shit. We got free water, straight from the well. Um, yeah, we got our rent price locked in for two years. So I'm happy where we at. But once we leave there, we trying to move to our own, our own shit. Like we trying to have our own land. We're trying to have our own land and stuff. And then we just going to get a, a like an RV or trailer to put on our land while we build our house or whatever. So we're not trying to move to no apartment or no townhouse at all. Like I think we're done with apartments and living in places like that. One thing I can say though, you can find some cheap gas in Nashville. Antioch, Laverne, Murfreesboro, you can find some cheap gas. But out here, I don't know, baby. You're gonna pay. All the prices about the same. You ain't gonna find no cheap gas. Like how gas right now is like 314. I bet you I could go to Nashville somewhere. Somewhere and find some gas. For two ninety, a uh, bitch. Anyways, what I was about to ask y'all is, are y'all one of them people? Are y'all those type of people? I don't know how to. Are you one of those people? I don't know how to say y'all. Y'all know I'm talking to y'all. That's how you know I'm from the south. But are y'all one of those people? Are y'all the type of people? That's that's how you say it. Are y'all the type of people that you go out of town? And you don't care where you eat. Like, you'll eat something that you got back home. Like, you'll go out of town and get some fucking Cracker Barrel or McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or something. Or are you one of those people when you go out of town, you don't eat nothing that you got at home? That's how I am. When I go to town, I don't want to eat nothing that I got at home. I don't, I know. Why are we eating motherfucking? No. I don't want to eat nothing I could get back home. I would have stayed my ass at home. When I go on vacation, I want to try all the new shit. I want to try all the restaurants that we ain't got, that I ain't never seen before, that I ain't never had. That's what I want to do when I go out of town. Like, I don't want this. I should have got one. That's all I need. Good lemon water and Celtic salt. Keep you hydrated. I don't have a napkin. Fuck. I don't have a napkin. Anyways, where my wallet at? I gotta get gas. Okay, we got a full tank of gas, y'all. First of all, I stopped the, uh, I stopped. What's over there? I stopped. 
the pump and before it stopped on its own i put 50 dollars in my tank and like usually i just let it fill up and let it stop when it stopped but i took it out at 50 and that shit got me a full tank of gas like over the full mark and it said i got 519 miles one thing i can't say y'all got some good gas out here in north carolina I got some good gas out here because Nashville ain't never put me in no 500 miles on a full tank and ain't even fill it up all the way. Like, what? This where I just came from. Okay. It was a, a dude at the pump in front of me. And, like, I had got out to, uh, he was just standing by, like, he came out of the gas station. He was just standing by in front of his car. And I got out to take the pump out my tank and he was still just standing there acting like he was on his phone and then I turned around and got like straight in the car like real fast and then like he looked at me and then he just turned to get in the car like sir please don't try to talk to me please it's dangerous going to the gas station god dang him please don't talk to me please don't see me that's what be going through my please don't see me please don't talk to me <laughs> Oh, and there's a Publix over here. Okay, I like it here. I like it here. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Like, oh my God, this looks so amazing. This looks so, so amazing. y'all i ain't got nothing else to talk about i'm just driving around it's a lot of townhouses out here though i can't say that i do not if we can't find no land over here it's my birthday excuse me 11 10 my birthday if i can't find no land over here then yeah but this is a nice area this one of the areas we need to be looking for land in. I'm gonna have to make sure I write this down. So yeah, y'all, I'm just exploring. I'm probably gonna go home in a minute. So I can, oh, this is where I just came from. See, y'all, when I tell y'all my sense of direction, my sense of direction is so good. I'm clearly, I clearly don't have no GPS right now because I'm talking to y'all on my phone. And I'm headed back home. Like, I ain't even know. Like, I'm right back here by them, the Pilates class. I feel like I didn't went to a whole other side of town. And then I just find my way back over here. Like, my sense of direction is so good. If we, if we, I've been telling my boyfriend, like, if we ever get lost, just follow me. Just let, just follow my direction. Because I promise I'm going to always find, find our way back home. That's one thing I'm going to do is find my way back home. Fuck a GPS. And I've been like that since high school. Like, I remember one time I had went somewhere and my phone died. And it was like 11 o'clock at night. And shit, I found my way home. I found my motherfucking way home. And it didn't take me long. Like, I'm going to find my way home. Like, my sense of direction be like, nah, we're going to go this way. Okay, we're going to turn right here. All right, we're going to keep straight right here. Yes, I love it. Connected to the stars for real. Okay, anyways, I'm rambling. But yeah, so since I'm clearly headed back um, to where I came from, this is the way I came from my house. I'm probably just gonna go home, finish unpacking some stuff, find something to eat a little. 